Hello, this is Dan Alford with Arc Specialties. Today we're talking about combining an old cutting process with current generation motion control, specifically oxyfuel cutting and robotics. The two combined can do things that are impossible using any other technology. The beauty of oxyfuel cutting is you're actually using the exothermic reaction between the steel base material and the torch to facilitate the cut. This means there's scarcely any limit. I've personally cut up to 36 inch thick steel with a standard torch costing less than $1,000. When you go with plasma cutting, which is more commonly used in robotics, the problem is anytime you're above about one inch in thickness, and that includes the bevel, you're outside of the efficient region for plasma cutting. Whereas with oxyfuel, the cutting tables go all the way to 60 inch in thickness. Today in our laboratory, we're going to be demonstrating a penetration cut through a three inch plate for a small diameter tube. So once you include the bevel, our actual cut thickness on the back side is over four inches in thickness. On thick materials, we tend to drill a pilot hole rather than try to pierce, particularly on a part like this where we're trying to maintain a small diameter hole at the top of the part. And this shows off the advantages of a robot. You simply have to drill straight through the part. So with minimal programming, you're able to start the cut at the least thickness and then tilt the torch over to the desired bevel angle that you're trying to achieve. When I visit factories and conduct automation audits, I'm shocked to see that frequently these cuts are made by hand. No human being can even approach the quality that you can achieve with a robot. When you look at this finished cut, you can see that the surface finished and the dimensional accuracy is superb. This part is ready to weld. Once you have an accurate and precise weld group produced by oxyfuel cutting using a robot, not only do you save time and filler material, but you also create a groove that can be welded more easily with a robot. When you're cutting heavier materials with oxyfuel cutting, we tend to go to natural gas or propane. The logic is we have less edge melting up at the top, and it's also safer than acetylene. So we're using a standard torch, but we're using a two-piece tip with a long skirt to make these cuts. Sometimes the older, simpler technologies are the best solution. I'll argue that on thicker steel parts, there's no viable alternative to oxyfuel cutting. Of course, you can do it by hand, but the cut quality is such that it's going to require a great deal of finishing before you start welding. So if you combine oxyfuel cutting with robotics, you can do some amazing things. If you have thick steel parts that you would like to try cutting with a robot, give us a call. That's what our laboratory is for. We can do a demonstration in our lab. At Arc Specialties, we thrive on problems. Send us yours.